How's it going? Woo. I'm emo Michael Sarah. <laughs> Uh, I got to meet Rob Ford back in the day. I know I look 12, but I was old enough to do that. Uh, well, I met him at a party, Rob Ford, you know? And I met him at this party, and I went up to him, and I was like, hey, how's it going? And he gave me this key, and I was like, is this the key to the city? And he was like, no, it's better! <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not a, like a drug man guy, dude. I'm not a man. Like, like what? there's lots of men here. Like, you're a man, man, man. It do. Yeah. <laughs> but like, that's what I'm saying is like, men, men are like, I'm not saying men aren't tough, or I'm not saying dudes aren't tough, but like, okay, what, what do you do for a job, man? Uh, camera. Cameraman, that's, that's man job. Yeah, I carry equipment, I shoot and point, I tell, I get told what to do. <clears throat> like, you're, you're manly, you gotta man, I sell weed for a living, you know? So, <laughs> legally, you know? So, but, so it is, it's, it's weird, like, the I think the manliest job I ever had was when I was in a war reenactment. Thanks. Yeah, playing pretend was the manliest thing I ever did. <laughs> yeah, no, because like, when you're in a war reenactment, it is kind of cool, because, like, all, everyone there has, like, man hobbies, man things. You know, there's, like, a guy who brews his own beer in his bathtub, and he goes there, and he's like, bruh, manly shit, and gets it out of the soldier, bruh, it's have some brewski, bruh, and I'm a man. And then, like, there's guys there that are, like, really into guns, and like, yeah, this is a 4K musket. I don't know guns, but, like, this is a musket that was used in the war. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Shoot, bang, boom, ah, man, shit. You know, then there's, then there's just, like, nerdy dudes that are like, you know, in the War of 1812, I'm a very smart man. I'm a lawyer, an astronaut, whatever you are. Oh, he left. All right. But, like, I... It, it, it's weird. What I'm saying is, like, when you're in a war reenactment, you're surrounded by, like, two types of people. Gun lovers and nerds. School shooters. <laughs> I was very at home. I felt very at home. The emo girl's laughing a little hard at that. She, she's like, all my ex-boyfriends had guns. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. I'm a, I don't know. Do you, do you guys want to, like, I, 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 I got to work on material, but do you want, like, jokes about my mom? Or do you want, like, psych ward stories? Oh, mom. I, both. Oh, okay, all right, okay, okay. Wait, so let me just tell you something. <laughs> so, like, I was in a psych ward, and um, it was an Oshawa psych ward, it's very true, so you know what I'm saying. You know? And uh, when, when I was in the psych ward, I, I like, was in this, I, I just heard this kerfuffle outside my room, just, you know, this, this real hootenanny, this real, like, I use white people words too, so they're good to use <laughs> You know, so I heard this real curmudgeon of a thing. And I go outside my room, and I just see this girl, she's just getting bear hooked, you know? She's just kicking and screaming, she's like, Why can't we fuck? Why can't we fuck? Why can't we fuck? And like, I'm in there for hallucinating and depression, and like, my first thought was like, Man, everybody's getting laid. <laughs> you know, but like, I am good now, like, well, not really, but I'm fine. Um, but, you know, occasionally, you know, I'll hear voices or whatever, but you know, every once in a while, they're positive, but they're just they're naturally, you know? Like this one time, I heard just highs and lows, you know? It was calling out to me. So I thought, all right, I'll talk to my hallucinations, because that's what insane people do, you know? So, she knows. Um, but no, so I, I did, I started calling out to my hallucinations, and I was like, hi, and I was like, hi, and I was like, hello, hi, hello, hi, for 20 fucking minutes, just walking around my apartment, hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, hello. Hi, hello. So I got like my brain hurt and I just wanted to look at my phone and then I just looked at my phone and I realized up I, I butt dialed my friend and she's just in my pocket going, Hi! Hello! Hey, hi, hello! So I don't know if I'm schizophrenic or just really stupid. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll leave you with this. Um, one day I was looking for weed uh, and my mom grows weed and I found a box full of her dildos. <laughs> that mom's got a lot of dildos. Um, but no, no, it was weird because like I was looking for weed and I found therapy and like and like it, finding a box full of your mom's dildos is like finding a box full of snakes. One is scary enough. Uh, all right, guys, thanks. That's all I wanted to do. All right. And you know what? Give it up for your next comic. Apparently, is it?